What's up guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol back with another video. Today I have Clone Trooper from Hot Toys. Super excited about this. Let's roll. That's right guys, we're back. I have a pile of videos in store for you guys. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. We got posing videos, unboxing videos, six scale news, crazy stuff. You know, just stuff. So if you haven't already done that, uh, please do that. Now I did get my clone trooper here from Pop Collectibles. I know there's a lot of places out there that are already sold out. And honestly, I don't know if they have any more at Pop, but they probably will get some. I don't even know, but there's a link down there if you want. And there's this, you know, discount code. Clone troopers, one of my favorite things to collect. I have a pile of them. I can't wait to get the rest of these in. So I have a quite a few more of these regular white clone troopers on the way. So I'm army building these guys because that's what we do. My question is, how? what's the correct number of clone troopers to collect? What is it? Is it two? Is it eight? Is it 27? Is it 1 million? I don't know what the answer to that is. But today, we're going to look at this one and see, is it a shiny? Or is it just a regular clone trooper that has no battalion paint job on it. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's get to the unboxing. Here we go, guys. We've got our clone right here. Clone Trooper MMS 647. And this is the cool part, I think. Right here. 20th anniversary episode two, Attack of the Clones. Now, you guys know I like my clones. I got this one from Pop Collectibles. Yes, I bought more than this. And they're on the way. Just saying. So we'll, when, there will be a huge unboxing Whenever that, that just stay tuned. Anyways, MMS 647, like I said earlier. So this is going to be a slip cover. We've got our, I, I'm not going to call this a shiny. I, I know a lot of people call this shinies and I may have in the past as well, but I have a, I've owned the previous sideshow version of shiny and that's straight up like fresh paint. I think this one's going to have a little more weathering on it, which I think is a good thing for realism's sake. But uh, let's find out. Here we go. Oh boy. Got some nice, got some nice shiny box art. We got a nice little gold or a silver foil action here, foil action here. Got the Hot Toys logo, movie masterpiece series. Oh yeah! All right, let's get into this. Now I don't, I don't typically care about boxes, and honestly, I'll probably never see this one again. Uh, but some of you very well might. So we've got our nice little tray here. I guess there's some film over this here. Is there film over this thing? What's going on here? Yeah. All right, let's just get rid of that. Here. There's some film there. You're out of here. There we go. There's our clone in there. With our phase one and our phase two helmets. We'll break those out in just a second. But look at this. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, if you want, you can pause and read this if you uh, desire to. I'm not going to read all that to you guys. Um, but look at that. We've got our grenade launcher there and RPG. We've got all this stuff. If you care to read that, you're more welcome to. Box art's beautiful. The only downside of these, and, and I've got more than one coming, so do we leave one in the box? Surely not, right? Anyways, uh, the downside is they tape these. I wish they didn't freaking tape these things, but they did. All right, let's 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 do this thing. All right, it's done. It's no longer sealed in box, which to be fair, I don't really give a crap. Well, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing open. Pretty stoked for this. And, and uh, let me know if I should do a video on unboxing the army that's on the way. Or should I do a live stream thing? I, I don't really know. I haven't made up my mind. Uh, but we've got some hands here. We'll check those out. we got a backpack, which we've seen before. But obviously, I want to see the paint applications going on on the actual figure. So let's go ahead and do that. Come on. Thank you. Wow. Okay. All right. That's, this is different than what I was expecting. I don't know what I was really expecting from the blogger photos, but this is different from what I was expecting. All right. So there is some slight weathering going on here, and, and we'll get more into detail of that, but there's definitely some weathering. It's almost like they, uh, um, like they were sponge painted, if that makes any sense. There's not like gashes and stuff in here, like it would be weathered. It's like light stone color. I would say this is not a stark white color. It'll make more sense in better lighting, but I think this is more like a stone, a marble color. This is not a shiny uh, in the in the slightest. I would not call this a shiny. Nice little touch of red right there. That's kind of cool. Um, it's 
glorious. It's glorious. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got our DC-15 blaster. We got our DC-15. Is this the DC-15A? I can't get these mix up sometimes. The, the rifle, right? That might be the S. This might be the A. I can't remember exactly. And the RP-6, I believe. We've got a pile of these in my clone armor. Uh, I got a pile of these things. But we got a phase one. We also have a phase two helmet. We'll take a look at that in a second. I forget all the plastic stuff off. We got some extra pegs. What else have we got? We got a, a display stand. No jetpack. Uh, no jetpack. It's not the fiber first deluxe with the you know flame effects. Uh, clone, it just says clone trooper. Kind of dig that. Uh, let me get those plastic stuff out of here, and we'll get into the details of that guy. So let's start with the accessories. Uh, the display stand is going to be fairly straightforward. It's this nice gray. Death Star error deal. It just says Clone Trooper right there. You can see the glare. There's just like some like here. Here's some ASMR for you guys. Hold on, hold on here. If I can get this off without scratching, you're gonna be di you're gonna be difficult. Come on, don't be, don't do this to me. All right, you ready? Here we go. Put this. I'll put this up to the mic. Let me know in the comments um, what you rate that as a one out of ten ASMR. But there is Star Wars Clone Trooper. Dig that very much. Yeah, anyways, um, simple uh, waist grabber, crotch grabber, nothing crazy going with that. That's straightforward. We got our DC 15S blaster. Now, this looks more weathered. This looks like it has more paint applications than the 501st Deluxe. I'll be right back. Let's see. Am I crazy? Let's find out. I might be. All right, so we got a bunch of parts. We got you know, rotary blasters that we got with the 501st Deluxe. We're not going to get with uh, this guy. Uh, but let's grab... Uh, here's a rifle. Like, this rifle still has still has a hand on it because that's how I store mine. It's way easier to store them like that. So I just I do that. Um, but let's... Here's the, uh, here's the one with the 501st Deluxe, which I clearly have quite a few of. Um, but there's that guy. And then here is the new one we got. That, to me, that's a different paint application. I mean, it's somewhat similar, but yeah, it's different. So this has got a lighter shade of, or, or, or lighter shade of gray in the dry brushing. Am I crazy? I don't think so. I think in person, this is definitely lighter. There's def, yeah, I'm definitely seeing it. Yeah, I mean, outside of the mold, the mold is exactly the same as it should be. Um, it's nice. Uh, so there's some bluing on the one for the five or first on the tip, not so on the uh, on the new one. All right, that might be okay. All right, here we go. Uh, we'll need that in a second. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by myself. This is pretty nice. Once again, this doesn't go back, but yeah, whatever, it's fine. And hopefully, it actually stays. I wish they had a peg, or if this was magnetic, because. After a time, this starts to droop and it's a real pain in the butt. Uh, I've got a nice little amber color paint there on the pen. Um, there's some some different coloration going on in the pens here. Kind of dig those. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, look at yeah, we got orange. You got some blue. Got some orange there. That's like a ruby garnet color going on right there. That or my eyes are playing tricks on me. I don't know. But there's that. Uh, then we have this guy, which obviously we just looked at. You got to have this for clones. That's a thing. Uh, I can guarantee you these are still oversized for the hands they gave us. I have no doubt about that because it's the exact same size as the one we just looked at. And those are a pain, which is why I actually leave the hands on these most of the time and just store them that way. It's just easier. Uh, and then we got our RP6 launcher here, which is always a fan favorite. Uh, it's got a nice little red here. Any other color? Oh, nice. Oh, that's different, I think. That's like green action there. I don't remember that being on the previous version. It might have been, but I don't think so. So we got those. We got some weapons. Uh, we also got the standard array of hands. So we've got uh, blaster holding hands on both of these guys. Very, very light weathering going on in this. We'll take a look at uh, one of those in a second. We've got our pointing hand, a left pointing hand. We've got a right gesturing pointing hand. We've got a left thumbs up. We've got a right gesturing hand or support hand. So I kind of want, let's take a look at this one. Might be easier to see. Here we go. Uh, so very light on the weathering on this guy. Very, very minimal. It, it's more like, it's, again, it's not stark white. It's more of a stone color. That's how, how I'm perceiving this. 
uh, are perceiving this. That's not even a word. Um, I kind of, I dig it, but there's that. And then of course we got the backpack, which we've seen before. Uh, we got the Imperial logo on there and then we've got, uh, or the Republic logo. And then we've got, um, some ni this has more weathering on it than any of this stuff. Like it's definitely got more scratches and, uh, we can, this guy right here, we should be able to, that's a magnet. Okay. There's a magnet there. You can put some stuff in there if you like. This is the same. Yeah. Same. Right. All right. That being said, we do have two helmets. We got this phase two helmet, which I very much like. I dig it. We got some nice blue paint going on in here. Weathering again throughout. There is pretty much the entire thing is weathered. Entire thing is weathered. Uh, nice gray going on on the uh, the teeth, if you will, the mandibles. And then we've got some nice uh, accents going on here inside. No detail, just a normal peg joint, uh, ball joint there going on. But yeah, nice gray band all the way around. I like that. Dig that. Now I did go get. Well, let me get this one. Hold on. Let's do this. Here's the five hundred first. I got grab the five hundred first guy. Um, but there you go. The mold is pretty much the same. I'm fairly certain it's the same helmet repainted, which I expected no less from Hot Toys, honestly. That's exactly what I expected. And I'm okay with, because they're clones. But um, somebody out there might go, oh, it's not technically 100% accurate and something's going on with the teeth and all this kind of fun stuff. And, and yeah, you may be right, but it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Uh, the figure itself right here. All right, let me get some of the stuff out of the way. Get out of my way. Here we go. Um, let's let's take a look at some of the details on this guy. So again, this is the Phase One helmet. It is exactly the same as the previous version. It looks it looks slightly oversized, kind of like the previous version did, or the previous body, because I think it's very similar. But uh, again, I'm okay with that. Um, I think it's just the it's just the design of the actual helmet. I mean, it's just, it just is what it is. Um, so I'm not, I'm not too mad at that. But there is, again, weathering going on throughout the entire helmet. There is no part of this that is not touched. Right? No part of it whatsoever. Uh, I, once again, with this guy, I can already see it. Like, you see how this armor is kind of popped up a little bit right here? I can already tell you you're going to have to move this down right there. That's going to be a thing. It has been with all the clones I've got. So range of motion. That's crazy range of motion. Wow, kind of impressed with that, especially with this helmet. Um, it's on a ball joint. You can go left and right. That's fine. Let's see what we got. All right, no ratchets on the shoulders. No ratchets on the shoulders. That's okay. We got a double bend on the elbow, I have no doubt. Yeah, there's a double bend there. You've got to maneuver that uh, elbow pad and get that out of the way, but there's definitely double bend. Uh, butterfly joint, no issues with that. Really good twist. And I imagine, you know, crunching is going to be like non-existent. That's okay. Uh, a slight little ratchet in the knee. Slight. There's a double bend there. Again, that's that's uh, kind of getting in the way. Uh, no ratchet in the hips. Not. There's a ratchet forward in the hips, but no ratchet sideways in the hip. And if I, if I remember correctly, and I don't even have to remember because I have him right here. Uh, there's a ratchet sideways on the 501st and back, forward and back. And then this guy doesn't have that. Now I, I'm I'm torn on whether or not it's a good or bad thing. Uh, I I, I kind of like the ratchets for support, but then again, I don't like having being stuck like in the middle or locked into one position because of where that ratchet locks. But having that free motion, that's nice. Again, double bend there and uh, normal you know ball joint going on down here. But again, so paint applications wise, you know here's your chest plate again weathering all the way around black paint here. And then we rotate around. We've got, there's slight weathering, almost like a, I guess it is the same color here, but it, it's more weathered here on the uh, uh, cover there, the strap. And then again, back here, there is nothing shiny about this in the slightest. The, it's a matte finish on the paint. Some of it's catching up a little bit of the light. You get kind of like, it's like pearlescent look kind of going on, but it's, I promise you it's, it's a matte finish. Um, there's just a little subtle highlights, like right in here, subtle highlights all the way around. The feet are uh, weathered pretty nicely. I'm, I'm happy with this. I know somebody's not going to be, but phew, 
you know, I did order more than one. I think the only thing we really got to do, I guess while we're here, we can compare the colors of this um, before we get into the, you know, the posing part of this. They're very similar uh, other than obviously a lot of blue paint, um, but they're, they're pretty similar. I'm looking for differences in the mold and I don't see a whole lot there as far as the mold goes, other than the chest plate. So on the chest plate on your 501st, you don't have the two insignias here where you do on that one. So there's a difference with that. Uh, you don't have um, this rectangle right here in the middle. You don't have that guy on this. What else differences? The belt looks pretty freaking similar to me. Knee pads look fairly similar. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have an issue with that. The actual uh, shin armor looks pretty similar. Shoes, fairly similar. There's definitely difference in the much the amount of gray on the bottom. There's a difference in that. Um, mold on the bottom looks pretty similar. Shoulder armor. Yeah, I mean, they're... You guys can let me know, but they're... It's a repaint. Let's check the back. Hold on. Is the back the same? I know I've got the back back on, but... Uh, yeah, the back's, the back's pretty much the same. I'm not mad about that. I got a lot of clones. I like them. Let's pose this guy up. And here we go. Here's our clone trooper. I'm not going to call it a shiny. It's cleaner. It's just it's just a clone trooper. I don't think it's a shiny. Uh, I, I'm basing that on the fact that it's not shiny. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, but it does look awesome nonetheless. And at this time, I only have one of these, which is kind of stinks. So we're going to have a whole pile of them uh, very soon. Um, but yeah, I very much like this. Uh, feel free to steal this pose if you care to. It's very simple and uh, it looks pretty freaking awesome. Um, but there he is looking all kinds of awesome. I, I do, I will admit, I prefer the phase one helmets uh, just in general on clones. I just think they look more badass. But luckily, Hot Toys says, hey, you can have phase one. And you can have phase two, and the armor are pretty much interchangeable, and uh, from phase one to phase two, and um, yeah, so there's there's differences there, but this it'll, it's okay. Uh, I dig this uh, double bend on the elbow. Again, you can just move the elbow pad out of the way uh, just a little bit, and you can see it just it just looks great. I mean, I've done videos on these guys before, so you just want to know what this one's about. If you have a five or first uh, figure, five or first deluxe, whichever one you got. Really, the only difference, other than paint application, is going to be no ratchet on the side hip. Uh, still ratchets going front and back on the hips. Uh, outside of that, essentially the same figure. If you're a clone fanatic like me, your army building the hell out of these, you're going to want more than one of these guys. Uh, at least two, right? Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that because I believe... We're going to do some more poses, but I, I believe uh, you know we're going to have a pretty pretty good time posing... Uh, these guys, when uh, the rest of his brothers show up, but there's some of the uh, there's some of the weathering I was telling you about earlier. You can see it's really not. It's it's more of a stone colored. It's just not a shiny. For those of you who have owned the previous sideshow shinies, uh, sorry, uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, yeah, like it's just straight up fresh paint. Um, this is not that. This definitely has weathering all the way across, and it's not like. Huge battle scars. There's not like large black gashes or anything or fire bolts or anything like that going on with this guy. And I, I think that's okay. I, I'm, I'm cool with that. I only wonder, if, did I buy enough? That's, that's the question. Hmm. I guess we'll find out soon enough. So another pose for this clone. And, and I've done pose after pose after pose of clones. If you go back on my channel and watch any of my clone trooper videos, I've got poses and poses. And uh, this is just a simple one. Uh, it, it works. It's balanced well. No issues with it. Uh, double joints on the elbows give us the, the ability to get that uh, weapon up high. Uh, you, there is some more range of motion on the neck. Could have tilted it down a little bit, but I thought it looked just fine here. Put the backpack on there. It looks great. It looks great. I cannot wait till the rest of his brothers arrive and we can have an all-out clone army battle pose so I don't know what the hell we're going to do with that, but I, I got a few clones. And um, so I'm pretty stoked for this. I, I am a little I'm a little sad for those of you who missed out on this guy. Uh, I realize he is sold out in a lot of places. Uh, Pre-orders are sold out, and um, there's a wait list things going on. And, you know, it's just one of those things. It's it's uh, I'll have a whole separate video of my thoughts on that whole situation. But um, if you were able to get this and you're just waiting on yours to arrive, I think you're going to be very very pleased 
uh, when he does. So, um, yeah. But let's uh, let's do another pose. Let's have some fun with this guy. And uh, see what else we can do if we pose him up with some other troopers. So here we are. We've got the Phase 2 bucket on our new clone. We've got a 501st on the right in the Phase 2. We've got Captain Rex on the left. And uh, there you go. So if you want to see what they're going to look like on your shelf, this is how they match up. I would say the white on the 501st and the clone trooper match almost, they're pretty close, pretty freaking close to identical. I mean, it's it's fairly close. Captain Rex, on the other hand, does have that tint of green in his armor. So he's going to stand out from all of them anyways, which, you know, I think is kind of the idea, uh, to be honest with you. Um, but if you want to see... A little closer up look on this phase two bucket on this guy. I think it uh I think it honestly looks pretty stinking good. Obviously I'm biased because I just like clones. But um yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty stoked for this. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna display mine yet on 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 the fence with that one. But what I do know is when Mace Windu finally arrives in the next 24 to 97 months. Um, he's going to look pretty sweet against these generic clones, right? Not the 501st. Now, hopefully, hopefully Hot Toys is paying attention and gives us some 212th. That would be pretty sick. Some 442nd, some 104th. We can get a whole bunch of clones. And, and honestly, that would, that would be pretty awesome uh, on everything except for my wallet. But uh, this guy looks pretty stinking cool. And I'm happy to have him. So, you know, I'm uh, I'm pleased with it. You may uh, disagree, but let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I don't think there's any surprises here. Uh, if you've got previous clone troopers, there's no shocks, there's no surprises. It's it's a clone, and it's exactly what we would expect when we're unboxing a new clone trooper variant for the first time. As always, collect what you like. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please do so. We got a pile of more videos coming. Until then, see you next time.